हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू दी देवगुन क्लासेस दी एजुकेशन एंड प्रोफेशनल क्लासेस फॉर ऑल गवर्नमेंट एग्जाम प्रिपरेशन कैंडिडेट्स और स्कूल स्टूडेंट आवर चैनल इज इक्वली इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर ऑल बिकॉज वी आर टेकिंग हेयर एन सी आर टी रेफरेंस ऑल दी पॉइंट्स आर इंक्लूडेड हेयर आर फ्रॉम दी एन सी आर टी बुक्स सो वेरी वेरी बेनिफिशियल फॉर कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम्स एंड फॉर द स्कूल सो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस क्लास नाइन्थ मैथमेटिक्स चैप्टर ट्राइंगल वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग चैप्टर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट चैप्टर चैप्टर फुल ऑफ कॉन्सेप्ट एंड थियोरम्स सो स्टे इन दिस वीडियो टिल द एंड सो ईच एंड एवरी कंसेप्ट विल बी क्लियर टू यू वेरी वेरी इफेक्टिवली सो लेट स्टार्ट इट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वॉट इज ट्राइंगल सी ट्राई एंगल ट्राई मीन्स थ्री फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल ट्राई मीन्स थ्री ओके सो a triangle is a closed figure what is closed you can see the triangle is completely closed no point is open so a triangle is a closed figure with three three sides are called triangle okay it has three vertices you can see 1 2 3 Three vertices, one, two, three. Three sides, one, two, three. Three angles. A triangle is a closed figure with three sides, vertex, and angles. And one more thing is that it is two-dimensional because it has only length and breadth, only two dimensions. So we can see a triangle is a closed two-dimensional figure which has three sides, three vertices, and three. okay so let's move on you can see many examples around us of triangle first of all sandwich in the shape of triangle traffic signal in the shape of triangle then cloth hangers in the shape of triangle square sets used in mathematics again in the shape of triangle you can see many many other examples okay now move on the types of triangles there are two category actually of the triangle triangle are of broadly two types on the basis of length and another is on the basis of angles first of all discuss on the basis of length of side first is scalene triangle a triangle having all sides are different three sides we have 1 2 3 all the three sides are different this is 3 then this will be 4 and this will be 5 okay now second isosceles triangle a triangle having two sides equal two sides length will be equal if this side is 3 this side also will be 3 okay so now equilateral triangle a triangle which has all the three sides equal this is 3 this is also 3 and this is also 3 so this is called equilateral scalene isosceles equilateral triangles are on the basis of sides now on the basis of angles again we have three types of triangles one is acute second obtuse and third is right acute triangles are those in which all three angles will be less than 90 this is 70 then this will 50 okay and this will be 60 no will be no angle will be equal and uh, sorry no angle will be great, uh, less than uh, greater than 90 or equals to 90 okay next is obtuse triangle a triangle which have at least any one triangle one angle equals to more than 90 for example in this triangle you can see this side is greater than 90 so this type of triangle is called obtuse triangle now move on to the 
third right angle triangle a triangle which has one angle equals to 90 like in this diagram this side is 90 degree so triangle having one side equals to one angle equals to 90 is called right angle triangle now very important actually this is the main topic of class 9th of triangle that is congruency congruence of triangle what is congruence a triangle will be congruent if corresponding sides and angles are equal if we talk about these two triangles you will be say see this side will be equals to this only because corresponding and this side will be equals to this side only and this side will be equals to this okay because corresponding sides are equal and same in the triangle in the angle if this angle equals to this then this will equals to this okay and this angle will be equals to this angle because corresponding sides and angles are equal a congruent triangle are those which are equal in all manner shape and size too angle uh, shape that superpose to each other okay if this is 3 then this will be 3 this is 4 this is 4 this is 5 this is 5 in all manner and angles 2 angles 2 are equal if two tri uh, if two triangles are equal then we will denote like this okay this is the sign of congruency actually these two uh, triangles are equal then we will write as triangle a b c congruent triangle d e f this is the sign of congruence okay now we have some criteria of congruency first of all look at some example this these are the congruent shape no change no change in uh, size and no change in shape exact okay now we have some criteria of congruency we are going to use this congruency criteria in our question so be very careful and look at the point very clearly okay first of all s a s congruency side angle side congruency rule means if we take two triangles see then if these two side and the included angle means this side will be equals to this side and this side will be equals to this side and in these two sides have one angle this is called included angle and same in this so two sides okay and included angle will be equal then we will call as a s congruency rule and according to this rule two triangles will be congruent next move on to the second congruency rule that is a s a means again we will take two triangles see this angle will be equals to this angle okay and this angle will be equals to this angle two angles and one side one side that is included between two angles there is one side is called included and same for this so these two angles and this included side will be equal included is the main point actually man. according to these three points a s a congruency rule will be followed and according to this rule triangle will be congruent now third type of triangle uh, congruency rule is a a s according to this rule any two pair of angles and a pair of corresponding side what again taking two triangles you will see this angle equals to this angle this angle will be equals to this angle and any any corresponding side if this side then this side 
any corresponding no need of include uh, included side here any corresponding but corresponding should be there so two angles and one corresponding side if equal then aas congruency rule will be followed next is sss congruency very easy and simple congruency according to this congruency all three corresponding sides will be equal three corresponding sides means this side will be equals to this this side will be equals to this side and this side will be equals to this right then we will set say sss congruency rule followed here next most important congruency rule is rhs congruency rule means right angle hypotenuse side congruency rule means if we take two right angle here okay then one angle should be right angle obviously in right angle there, there is one one angle equals to 90 and one side one side will be will equal and the hypotenuse hypotenuse will be equal okay one right right angle one hypotenuse and one side if equal then they are said they will be congruent on the basis of rhs okay these are some congruency rule and we will solve some questions on the basis of congruency also okay so let's move on next see uh, we will see many time s s a a s s congruency rule so you will see there is no rule of congruency like this because a side and angle never have any included side first of all again a s s is a side and angle again not have any included side okay an angle 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 corresponding corresponding rules is also not there so this is the invalid congruency rule okay now some properties of triangle also uh, if a triangle have two equal sides we are we have already discussed the isosceles triangle this is isosceles triangle two sides are equal then this uh, this is called isosceles triangle okay now some properties are are there about isosceles that we will use first two angles opposite to the two equal side like this is e this is the side and this is the side these two sides are equal then their opposite angle angles are also equal means this sides opposite angle is this and this sides opposite angle will be this so these angles should be equal angle v b is equals to angle c this is the property actually now converse of this property two sides opposite to the equal angle if we talk about two angles that are equal means these this angle equals to this angle then then the opposite side of this angle will also triangle will also be equal means this triangle uh, this angle's opposite side is this and this sides this triangle's opposite side is this so ab equals to ac this is the converse of first means if two triangles of isosceles triangle are equal then their opposite sides should be equal okay these are the true properties of isosceles triangle now inequality of a triangle when we talk about the scalar triangle actually this is the scalar no sides are equal to each other this is the scalar and here are some theorems of scalar let's see first theorem in a given triangle if two sides are equal b c a all sides are unequal then the larger the longer side 
then the angle opposite to the lo uh, longer side will be larger for example if this side is larger side then the angle a will be longer angle uh, si uh, side a equals to side b if and only if angle a greater than angle b means if angle a is greater then its opposite side will be greater yeah means jo hai uh, angle bc uh, side bc will be equal now come on to the theorem 2 in this this is the converse of above theorem actually means if the side of a opposite to the larger side will always be equal actually in first theorem we will uh, see if lang uh, angle larger then opposite side will be larger and now the converse if the side is larger then its opposite angle will be equal okay and the third theorem is the sum of any two side of a triangle will always be greater than third side any two sides any two if we take any two side that is ac ab that it will be greater than cb this is the rule of a triangle actually if any two side if we take any two side then this will be that sides sum of that side will be greater than third one take an example you will see here is a triangle 7 9 8 is a measurement of sides so take first 7 plus 8 we will take this and this 7 plus 8 is equals to sorry is greater than should be greater than 9 obviously 15 15 is greater than 9 then triangle is possible again now take another another side 8 plus 9 it should be greater than 7 so yes 17 will be greater than 7 now take third 9 plus 7 greater than 8 obviously 9 plus 7 is 16 and 16 is greater than 8 if we take any two side and sum of that two side will be always greater than third side only only and only then a triangle can be formed okay this is the rule of forming triangle okay